Good evening, you guys. So I had some apples. I've been thinking about it for days and letting them get farther and farther past being good anymore. I swear, uh, when I peeled them, they were actually really good. I was surprised they're not br more bruised in this house. So, 9 o'clock at night, I'm going to make an apple streusel coffee cake. So let's go. I will have the recipe below. So Lex is doing the topping for me on the other sink, which I didn't film. I didn't think to get out my camera. And I ended up actually having so many apples that I doubled my cake mix part of it. And I left hers the way it was, which we had quite a bit of streusel. And I even put it throughout the cake. So, so right here is a single batch and I started to freak out because it is really thick and there's way too many apples. So this is where I decided I was going to double the batch. putting in the sugar which is a cup at this point because the first round I forgot to add the sugar completely
I found moving from the spatula to the hand mixer was much easier and the batter turned out really good. And my problem was I didn't beat together the way the recipe recommends and I've always cooked like this. I just throw everything in the bowl and mix it up and I've so far not had an issue. the way this batter looks it is much smoother so Lex helped out quite a bit she is going to go head back to her room and um, actually her and I ended up knocking out dishes first but she was a great help the kids have been helping a lot more in the kitchen which is nice and when I look at this batter I was thinking I should triple it which would have been way too much and you'll see why. I'm just piling the apples in this. I love the apples I love the blueberries in it. I've never tried this recipe, but when I've bought them, I've always wanted more of the fruit. And so I am trying to get as many apples without overloading it too much. And that is probably why I ended up cooking it for over an hour. I cooked it over an hour at the last time I checked it it was still just slightly gooey and I ended up turning off the oven and just letting it sit for the night and it turned out perfect as you can see if I had tripled this recipe there would have been way too much I'm already looking at this thinking there's way too much So thank you for watching my video. I'm going to go grab my coffee and I'm going to go eat this. Subscribe and give me a like. I'll see you guys later. Love you.